I'm Robert Osborne. With Halloween just six days away, tonight we're bringing you some classic horror films based on classic horror novels. And as it was with our last movie, The Haunting, our next film is also based on a really terrifying novel, one which is called The Midwich Cuckoos, written by John Wyndham. For this movie version from 1960, which we have for you now, M. Jim changed the title to Village of the Damned. The story is about what happens at a small English village when a dozen women discover they've been impregnated by some mysterious force. Not long after, those 12 ladies give birth to 12 blonde children with very spooky eyes and very strange powers. And thus they are, in the truest sense of the word, damned kids. It's a chilling movie which was made for, as some producers would describe it, peanuts, under $300,000, a small amount indeed even back in 1960. And the movie comes without any awesome special effects or any big name stars which many of today's sci-fi spectaculars seem to have. But it does have the wonderful and urbane George Sanders in the cast as a fellow who has to deal with those blank-faced, spooky kids. And as always with George Sanders, you know you're in good hands. This was, of course, decades after Sanders first came to everybody's attention playing suave crime solvers in two film series, The Saint and later The Falcon. And our next film also came a full 10 years after George Sanders became an Academy Award winner for his supporting performance as the cynical Broadway columnist in the wonderful movie All About Eve. So here also with Barbara Shelley, who at this point was kind of unofficially dubbed the first leading lady of British horror films. We bring you a creepy group of human beings you can be happy don't live next door to you. It's a film guaranteed to keep you in suspense. From 1960, here's Village of the Damned. Thank you. 